Hi guys, this is Nikash here and I'm back with a different question this time. So the question name is something like this, unique email addresses. And this is one of the famous questions asked in the Google interviews. So the problem statement is something like this. So you have been given an email which will have a local name and a domain name. And the conditions here are the local name or the domain name can contain two invalid characters. So one is a dot and one is a, one is a plus sign. So if you have a dot, you have to ignore that particular dot. If you have a plus, you need to ignore all the characters coming after that. Okay. So if you have an example, something like m.y plus name at mail.com. So in this, you have to ignore a dot and ignore everything after the plus. So the email becomes my at mail.com. Okay. So, so the input given for this problem is list of email addresses in which every email will contain some invalid characters. So what you need to do is you need to reply back. You need to output the number of unique email addresses by removing all the invalid characters from the local name. So this is the key thing to observe that you, you are not supposed to remove the dot or the plus from the domain name. Okay. So if you take this one, the first one, the first email turns out to be test. So you will ignore the dot. Test email. You will ignore everything after the plus. It becomes at gmail.com. So if you take the second example, it turns out to be test, you will ignore the dot, so it's test email and you will ignore everything after the plus, so you will ignore, ignore basically plus bob.cathy, it becomes at gmail.com. So if you see, it's same as this one, so we, we don't increment our com, okay? So still we have only one unique email. If you take the third one, it becomes test email and, and you will ignore everything after the plus, so it becomes at G M A I and there's a dot here which you can't ignore dot l dot com. So at the end, if you see, we have two unique email addresses, so we reply back with two. So let's see how we'll solve this via coding. Hi guys, so today we'll be solving the problem of unique email addresses. As I've already explained what exactly the problem is, so let me explain you the logic for, for solving this problem. So basically you have been given a set of email addresses which in which every email will contain an inval invalid character which is a dot or a plus. So if it is a dot you need to ignore it and if it is a plus you need to ignore all the characters after it. And we have to do this only for the local name. So what's, what, what is the character which helps us in differentiating between local name and the domain name? That's an at symbol. So basically we need to scan through every string in the input and and we need to look for three different characters. So one is a dot and second one is a plus sign and third one is an at symbol. Okay. So every time you see a dot, you ignore that. And when every time you see a plus sign, you ignore everything after that till you hit uh, the at symbol. And once you hit the at symbol, that's the end. Okay. Then you put this into a set where we'll, st we'll be storing all the unique email addresses. And at the end of the loop, once you have processed all the strings in the given input, Basically, you need to return the size of the set because it will contain only the unique email addresses from the input uh, email addresses. Okay, let's see how we solve this. So first thing is we need a set, set which will contain strings. Let's name it as yes. Okay. So basically, we need to go through all the strings in emails every time you need a pointer okay okay so now we have a pointer we have a set let's see what's the size of the set right to str of dot size okay okay now we start our loop let's say until while is true when do we break we break the loop once we hit the add symbol, right? So first thing is we need to look for the add symbol. If str of i is equal to character at, then we break. Okay, so that's the first condition. Okay, let's say we have not encountered the add symbol. So now we need to look for two other characters which are dot or a plus. So let's say we first look for a dot or a plus. Let's say plus, okay? So what do you do when you encounter a plus? Basically, you need to erase the characters from that particular index till we till the symbol at. So you need to 
remove these number of characters from that string. So we'll do string dot erase and we give the starting point. The starting point from where we want to erase is i and the number of characters we want to remove is string dot find because we need to first find the symbol at minus i. So we need to remove these many characters. Okay. Once we remove, we do a break. Okay. The third condition is str of i is a dot. So if it is a dot, we need to remove just one character from that particular index. So it will be string dot erase i comma 1. Right. So after this, we continue again. Okay. So let's say we didn't hit this condition. then we need to increment our i so that it goes forward and looks for the it's basically we scan through the entire string okay so once it breaks we need to insert that particular string unique email address in our set insert okay and at the end of the for loop we need to return s dot size because the set the number of email addresses what we have input inserted in the uh, set are the number of unique email addresses. So let's run the problem. Oops, we got a couple of problems here. Okay. Okay, looks like it passed for the basic case where the expected answer was two and our answer is two as well. Let's submit and see if it passes for all the test cases. Looks like it did. So this is one of the important questions asked in the Google interviews. So next video will be the odd even jump or any other Google question. So look forward for it. And if you want to get a notification whenever I post videos, please do like, share and subscribe. If you want me to solve any particular question, please let me know in the comment section below and keep learning every day. Thank you.